Guys, it's Comic-Con week. You're either in San Diego walking the floor, going to some panels, or stuck at home looking at me on your computer screen. Hi. In honor of Comic-Con, we've brought in some of our good friends of the show to talk about comic book themed movies. You've seen him all over TV. He's an actor and a very funny comedian, Mike Carlson. Hello. And from the Schmoes No Show, Christian Harloff. How's it going, guys? We're talking comic themed movies. Christian, let's start with you. Yeah. Let's talk worst. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say something kind of recent, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go with the Green Lantern. Green Lantern is so cool, and it could've been so much fun. Yeah. And it could've been DC getting back on the map. It was just a sloppy mess. Mm -hmm. Whoever cut the like the second trailer knew what the tone of the movie should be. Yeah. Brightest day, blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. Here you go, editor. Polish this turd. Yeah, yeah they did. Exactly. did. Whoever did that yeah. does deserve an award, yeah. I feel like. Oh, okay. no. For, be me. for best turd polishing. Yes. <laughs> yes. John Smith. Your second choice. Second one is not too hard uh, to pick because Michelle Pfeiffer, great Catwoman. Anne Hathaway, pretty decent Catwoman. Halle Berry. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, I, I've watched it once, and every day, and, I, and I'm mad at you now because uh, I'm talking about it, I yeah. thought I was going to forget You're that. Back. You're back. You're back in that zone. But you got to admit, she had some moves on the court, that awesome basketball <laughs> scene. <laughs> Public service, never watched that movie. And uh, your number one most hated. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if I can say most hated. It's the worst, and that's Batman and Robin. We've mentioned it mm -hmm. a few times here, because Batman and Robin is, uh, it, it's it's comedy. All right, everyone, chill. However, mm -hmm. had this movie not been a colossal failure as it was, we wouldn't have gotten the reboot and gotten right. close to, you know, the, what we got with Nolan's yeah. version. We would have probably gotten five Maybe and six Maybe it's all seven. a big conspiracy. Who knows? It's it's a terrible movie. It really is terrible, but it's, it, it is fun. I would watch it right now, though. Cool. Yeah. Mike, talk to us about some of the worst comic book movies. Uh, I'm going to start with two quick in one category, two obscure things. There was a Generation X TV movie and a Nick Fury TV movie, both oh. in the span of a couple years on Fox. Yeah. I'll get that vampire's blood if I have to suck it from her neck. Imagine yes. David Hasselhoff playing Nick Fury. Is that the one where he's eating the cheeseburger? He's eating a cheeseburger <laughs> on the helicarrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For a kid who loved comics, 15 minutes in, I just was ill. Like, I felt sick oh, to my stomach. Wow. It's just straight disappointment. I've watched them again. There's nothing redeeming about them. Number two, I'm going to say Ninja Turtles 3. Didn't they have much less of a budget for that one? And yes. The, and the costumes are really bad. They go to Japan. Uh, Leonardo gives mouth to mouth to a young boy. Oh, man. There's a shot at the end when they knock the main villain off of the, like, a big tall bridge or something. And he's falling. And I swear to you, he disappears when he's falling. <laughs> and there's a good two seconds, and then there's a splash. They just gave up. Like, they yeah. were just like, I'll finish it, I don't care. Mike, yes. your, your number one worst comic book inspired movie. Yeah, uh, my number one, I think is gonna have to be Superman 3. It opens with the weirdest attempt at slapstick comedy you've ever seen, yeah. and it's just confusing. It just, and you're watching going, what were they thinking? My worst comic book movies, G.I. Joe. The first one. Yeah, okay. the first one. Okay. Watch the 80s cartoon, so much better. Anything Punisher related, Dirty Laundry, the, the short yeah, uh, Thomas that Thomas Jane yeah. made, yeah. Yeah. that had potential. I'd give Jane another chance I, I, after that. I'll, Just keep Travolta away from it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Worst, I gotta go with Ghost Rider 2. It was such a mess of a movie. There was no sense to it, and it really ruined uh, my day when I saw it. Fun fact about the first Ghost Rider and another terrible uh, comic book movie, Daredevil, oh. directed by the same guy, Mark Steven Johnson, who Could should be banned from directing <laughs> yeah. and even going into a comic book shop. Could have his own list. Okay, so let's talk about uh, an underrated. What's an underrated comic book movie? I was gonna go Scott Pilgrim, mm -hmm. who I really like, uh, but you know, I was gonna go somewhere else with that. I'm gonna graphic novel mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go V for Vendetta. I don't know, it's just one of my favorite ones. Mike? Superman Returns, especially after seeing the new Superman, where I left the theater depressed, at least you get a nice warm feeling from it. I'm not on that side at all, because that movie was like drinking a bottle of NyQuil for me. It was so boring and I fell asleep. I'm okay with pushing Superman Returns away. Put the movie on, you'll go right to bed, you'll feel really nice when you wake up. That's morning. how you should market the <laughs> yeah, film. Yeah, that's your Yeah, if you, wanna, if you wanna see a movie that'll put you right to sleep, see Brian Singer's new movie, <laughs> Tight Pants. My most underrated, it's it's close. Dread is pretty awesome, but people like that movie. One that gets hated on way too much, 
Watchmen. It's so true to the graphic novel. I love that. And that opening sequence, one of the best pieces of filmmaking in the past decade. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. It's like, I don't hate it. Yeah. But like, I've read Watchmen a bunch of times and it's really good. And why not just see it lived out on screen? <laughs> Visually, yeah, it's, it's incredible. And I thought Rorschach was perfectly yeah, cast. And, and, well cast, yeah, well yeah. cast, But it's good. I don't hate it. It's good. Like, it's not my favorite, but I feel it's definitely underrated. Uh -huh. So did you agree with us? Disagree? What's your most hated comic book movie? Leave a comment in the section below. Best comment? Gets a $25 gift card from Best Buy, courtesy of Cinema Now from Best Buy. Also, we'll be down at Comic-Con shooting a Screen Junkie show, and I'll be doing a show called The Tournament of Nerds. Check out the description below. Both of you guys are gonna be at Comic-Con, right? Yep, that's right. Mike Carlson, Christian Harloff, thanks for being here, fellas, and thank you for watching Screen Junkies. I'm Hal Rudnick, bye-bye.